Civilian military employees in Kansas and Missouri were forced to take the day off. Forced furloughs went into effect this week. At Whiteman Air Force Base, more than 1,000 workers will see a 20% pay cut. New here at 6, Garrett Hake found out the pain could spread beyond the base's walls. When the Miller family opened this restaurant in May, the presence of a busy air base right around the corner seemed great for business. Whiteman Air Force Base was a big part of our building plan here at Knobnoster because they need somewhere off base where they can come and get in and out very quickly. Now Linda Miller worries that furloughs at the base, which kicked into effect this week, could take a bite out of her bottom line. That could be a Im big impact because people are going to have to cut corners somewhere in order to be able to feed their families. At the nation's only stealth bomber base, a thousand civilian employees will have to take one day off each week between now and October, losing 20% of their pay. The cutbacks are widespread. The commissary closes an extra day each week, and firefighters are staying home. Staff desks sit empty. So I was the first one here, and for the rest of the day, I was the only person here. The two civilians in my office are furloughed. The base can handle its primary mission, but not much else. It's causing delays, it's causing inefficiencies, and it's generally making life uh, harder. One furloughed worker we spoke to wouldn't let us use his name for fear of losing his job. Furloughs will cost him $3,000, and he's upset. We're going to make it through, but it's uh, no different than anyone else in this country would want someone to reach into their bank account and take money out of it. Feelings now spreading beyond the base walls. We opened it thinking that we've got all of this potential here. Um, you know, we've got help to pay and we've got overhead expenses. So, yes, it's not maybe anger, but it's frustration. Now, nationwide, more than 650,000 defense employees will have to take some kind of furlough, about 7,000 of those right here in Missouri. Military officials are hoping Congress can get the furloughs lifted in October, but there's still no guarantee. They could go on even longer. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.